Good morning, Active for Life online followers. Um, today we are going to be doing a full body workout that's going to take us all down onto the ground. So it's a nice low impact workout and you don't even have to weight bear for most of it. We're going to be focusing on full body, so arms, chest, back, core, hips and glutes, the whole shebang today. Um, so we're going to start off with our stretch and our breathing as we usually do. So we're going to either start out on your knees or sitting on your bum cross-legged. And we're going to start with a few big deep breaths in. So pulling those shoulders back and down, breathing in, bringing your arms up. And breathing out, bringing them back down. Again. And out. On the right side, bringing it up. And back out. And on the left side, bringing it up. And back out. Turns so that you're facing the head of your mat if you weren't already. We're going to breathe in deep, both arms up, forward folding into child's pose here. You can spread your knees apart a little bit, keeping your feet together. Get nice and deep into it. Stretching out those backs and hips, really engaging those shoulders, reaching forward. Big deep breath in, roll up. Breath out, roll back down, pelvis down so you're an upward facing dog. And then pushing up into a downward dog. Stretch out those calves and hamstrings. Really engaging your shoulders, spreading your fingers so that your ears are sitting between your arms. We're gonna roll forward into a plank again. Lowering down nice and slow. And pushing back up into upward dog. And bring it in reverse again, bringing it down. And up into downward dog. Now, however you want, step one of those legs forward. We're gonna come into a nice low lunge, so dropping that other back leg onto the ground into a nice low lunge where your front leg is at 90 degrees. Push your body up. Nice straight back, really stretching out that hip flexor. And then pushing that front leg forward, straightening it out and leaning forward into it to stretch the other legs, hamstrings. So we're reaching for your toes there. And then bringing it back, stepping that foot back again into upward dog, stretch it out. And stepping the opposite leg forward to a nice 90 degree position there get yourself comfortable dropping that back leg pushing your body up so you're stretching in through that hip flexor find the position that's comfortable for you and then pushing forward or sorry, pushing back, straightening out that front leg. We're lifting those toes to the sky, reaching forward for them, stretching into the glutes and hamstrings. And bring it forward, stepping that leg back once more. One more downward facing dog. 
into plank, lower yourself down, pushing up one more time, and pushing back into child's pose again. All right, while still sitting on your knees there, we're gonna do some good mornings to start off our workout today. So with your knees a little bit wider than hip width apart there, um, you're gonna bring your hands up above your, or behind your head, interlocking your fingers there. And we're just going to be working those lower back extension muscles by lowering down as you breathe out as far as you can go. Breathing in as you come back up. We're going to do this 10 times. Two. Only go as far as is comfortable for you. Three. Keep your core engaged, back straight. You shouldn't be rounding through your shoulders. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. our tabletop position for some donkey kicks. Stretch out your legs there if you need. Give them a little move around there. All right, donkey kicks. So we are just sticking out one leg behind us. We're raising it up so that we're making a nice straight line with our body and bringing it back down, touching that toe to the floor. So we're doing just kind of pulse kicks here. So we're not bringing it all the way back in. When you're ready, find your spot and 10 on each side, lifting one, two, three, four, five, six, keep your hips straight, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And Repositioning, switching sides, lifting that leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, you can sit it back again into child's pose, and we're going to come into a plank after this. Um, hopefully, you were watching yesterday or you caught yesterday's workout. Um, all about planks. In your plank, you can either be full hands out on your forearms, knees down, toes down, whichever combination of it you need. Find your comfortable spot. And we're gonna hold our plank today for four deep breaths. So we're gonna come up, find your alignment, and breathe. Breathing in. One. After the four deep breaths, we're going to rotate up into a side plank. Last one, rotate up. Change positions if you need for each one. You can change your position halfway through if you need. Whatever makes it work for you so you can finish that plank in a comfortable way. Four deep breaths in this one. One more and we're rotating to the other side. Rotating. The other side. Four deep breaths here. Last deep breath, bringing it down. You can 
rinse it back once more. And we're rolling onto our side. All right, we're gonna do some side leg lifts here so you can have that back, bottom knee bent. You wanna make sure that your hips are stacked one on top of the other, you're not falling back, you're not falling forward. Right one on top of the other. And we're just doing some little lifts, little leg pulses, 10 of them on each side. So lifting up and back down. When you're ready, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. And then we're going to come up and flip over. Stretching that top leg out, stacking those hips. When you're ready, same thing. 10 on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then rolling on to your back. Great. I have two last workouts for you here, focusing on those cores, muscles. We're gonna do some bridges, which are another one of my favorites. We're just gonna do some bridge lifts today. So you're breathing in as you come up, clenching the glutes at the top there, really activating those muscles, and breathing out as you come back down. When you're ready, 10 of these, and go. One. Move nice and slowly. You're not dropping your bum back down because you're getting more work out of it as you come down nice and slow. That's five. into a crunch leg position so you're gonna have your hands behind your head um, you want to make sure that you're not pressing your neck or your chin against your chest you want to keep a little bit of space here we're gonna bring our legs up into a tabletop position and we're going to be dropping one leg bring it back up and then dropping the other extending it out fully bring it back in Make sure that your lower back is pressed up against the ground and your core is staying engaged as always. Bringing it up when you're ready. One. We're gonna do 10 on each side here. Two. Three. Four, check that back position, make sure it's pressed against the ground. Six, seven, eight, couple more. Nine, and last one, 10. Last one on this side, and relax. Nice quick workout for us today. Just starting to get that heart rate up, feeling good. Breathing in. All right, with your legs bent, we're gonna do a few little windshield wipers to stretch out that lower back, dropping your knees from side to side. If you need 
need that deeper stretch into the back, you can extend one leg and go in for a full twist. And back, switching legs. Cross one leg over the opposite knee with it bent and then slowly push your body up into your legs to whatever level it's comfortable so you get a bit of a stretch through your glutes there. Breathing in. Exhaling nice and slowly. Extend that leg, switch it over, bring it back up. And extending it back out, coming into sitting. That is our workout for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.